This is the body of my new coil, the plastic saw from an LCD uh, screen from the background illumination. Um, that's one of the foils that distribute the light. It's made of three parts. The center part is a folded piece of plastic and the bottom and the top part look uh, like this. That's the coil winding machine. We have a power supply, a big motor from a HP design jet plotter. We have a proximity sensor with the gray cable. And the blue part is a piece of uh, sheet metal that triggers the, the proximity sensor once every revolution. Then we have a mechanical counter I found somewhere in the dumpster set to almost zero and a cheap power supply with one amp maximum and with the voltage I can regulate the speed of the motor. Well, that's about it. And we have a coil of uh, uh, copper wire, 0.2 mm thick, entirely made of scrap wood in my workshop. The holder for the coil is made of scrap wood too. It's customized to fit exactly the size I need. It can be slid on and off from this piece of wood. That's how to connect the animal wire to the connection wire. Uh, of course it will be soldered and heat shrinked. Then I make a hole in the top part to feed the connection wire through, like this. And then we can start winding. I attach the connection wire with a piece of uh, insulation tape, like this. Then I noticed that uh, my machine was sliding around on the table, so a little bit of double-sided tape would fix that. Let's start the winding. What you hear is the counter. It's an electromechanical counter. It counts up to 20 pulses per second, so that should be fast enough for what I'm doing here. Seven hundred done, twenty two thousand more to go. Disaster at three thousand five hundred. The top uh, plate fell off and uh, the coil expanded. I wasn't aware that uh, winding the coil puts a lot of pressure on the top and the bottom plate, so I had to unwind it completely and redesign the holding mechanism. Some hundred meters of copper wire wasted. Well, Gladly I have bought enough to start again. I hope this part will save my coil. It's a kind of washer made of wood, which uh, fits exactly on the axle there. It's a press fit, a very tight press fit, so this should hold everything together. This time it works very well. Uh, it turned out that 22,000 windings don't have enough space on this uh, little coil, so I stopped at about 13,000 
and I think that's enough. The clock is working, as you will see in another video, perhaps. That's the coil installed in my clock. It was very easy to disassemble and to reassemble. And let's see how it works with 12 volts. Thanks for watching.